Hey everybody and welcome to another Headway Hub video. I'm your host, AJ Morris, and today we're going to be talking about gravity forms again. But more specifically, we're going to create a testimonial area on your website. So if you haven't by now gotten gravity forms, do yourself a favor, pay $39 for the personal license and get it. For this tutorial, that is all you need. The tutorial we did earlier this week covering FreshBooks required uh, one of the, the business or developer plan as it was an add-on. After you've gotten the personal license, install it, start using it. Use it for a contact form. Use it for what we're going to do now. The next thing that you need to do is you need to create a custom post type called testimonial. Now I used the custom post type UI plugin just because I didn't really feel like writing any code and this is definitely the best custom post type plugin out there. It works really well with Headway for any type of custom post type not just a, t a testimonial one. So download this and use it. I've got a video on creating custom post types so if you don't want to use this plugin to do it or if you want to know how to use the plugin to do it I've got another video that you can watch all about custom post types. Finally, need to grab Gravity Forms plus custom post types. This plugin doesn't do anything uh, that you're ever going to notice unless you're using custom post types and creating a form like this. All it's going to do is give you a little field right here that is save as custom post type and a drop down. So I'm going to show you uh, how to do this and then again if you were using some sort of taxonomy it would show you that as well okay finally I've got headway 2013 installed and if you're using a version after this theoretically everything in here should still work but if you're using headway 3.0 things are a little bit different alright so let's get started I've gone ahead and created my custom post type testimonial and you can see that right here so if you look at testimonials I've got nothing I've got none added the uh, I've also got my site and let me refresh this I've also got my site here uh, looking you know just kinda plain Jane here and that's gonna be ready to go in a minute so the first thing I need to do or we need to do is create a form. So we're going to click on new form. And now I'm going to make this so simple. Uh, you can go through and I encourage you to go make this better than I do, but I want to keep this short uh, or as short as possible. So I'm going to call the title of my form testimonial form and I'm going to just give it a description that says please leave a testimonial. Uh, I would recommend throwing something else for a description in here, but for time I'm going to do that. Confirmation, I just want to change the confirmation really quick that says thanks for submitting a testimonial. And I'm going to look under advanced really quick and we don't need to do anything there. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to add some post fields or, or just some fields to our form. Now we're not going to use standard fields because these are just not really the fields that we want to use. What we want to do is we want to use these post fields and if you hover over the question mark it's going to show you the post fields allow you to add fields to your form that create post drafts in WordPress from submitted data. Basically what this means is, is these fields are like clicking add new under pages or add testimonial or if you go under posts add new there so that's uh, what what these fields are for so we're just gonna add a title and we're gonna add a body and we're done with our fields now 
I don't like post title and post body as my field names, so I want to change those. Now, we're just changing the, the labels of the form. The, the functionality of the field is still going to be the post title and the post body, but I want to call this name because theoretically you're going to throw your name in there, whether it's your, your, your real name, if it's a, a business or company name, a, a nonprofit name. Uh, something like that to, to say who who is giving this testimonial. And one thing I like to do is I always like to leave our post status as a draft. You can choose pending review or you can choose publish, but I always like to do draft because I want to approve anything that goes on my website. This is, this is my business website. It's a reflection of me. I want to make sure that whatever's on here is, is spelled correctly and isn't going to slander me in any way. So I'm always going to make sure I use draft. If you use publish, it's just automatically going to get published. And so if I'm a uh, if I'm one of your clients and maybe I didn't like uh, you know us working together, and you emailed me you know to submit a testimonial, and I submit this really crappy one, it it would automatically get published and then it's on your website and you might not know about it for a day or two or or whatever so I always like to do it as a draft and I would recommend anytime you do a testimonial type thing like this that you do it as a draft uh, post author I'm not really worried about post category we're gonna ignore and I wanna make this required so you can see here are my settings I got my field label my post status and my rules those are the only things I changed now, in order to make this work with our testimonials, we need to come under here to Advanced, and we need to click this Save as Custom Post Type, and then select from the drop-down Testimonials. These first three, Post, Pages, and Media, are your default WordPress post types. We're not worried about those. We want to create our testimonials. So we're going to do that, and we're done. We can close our first field. Now our second field is we want to change this to just say testimonial instead. So again, this is just the field label, testimonial. And this is going to be the post body area of, of the, the post of your testimonial. So once you're done, click on close and click save form. Now if you want, you can set up email notifications and I'll have a separate video about setting up email notifications at a later time. Um, I would recommend doing that though uh, just for, for sanity's sake so that anytime a new form is entered you get some notification. So we're going to return to the form list and now you can see our testimonial form is here. Alright, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a page. So we're going to create a new page and we're going to call this testimonial. And we're going to insert our form into this page. Now, if you've watched the previous or any previous Gravity Forms videos I've, I've done, you'll notice or you'll know that, that we can do a short code called Gravity Form. Or we can just click this button right here that says Add Gravity Form. Select our testimonial form. And I always enable Ajax I, just because half the time or most of the time I'm using uh, the, the message within the form. So we're going to click insert form. So it inserts all of our short code and this is the only thing I want on the page so I'm just going to click publish. If you want more you know go ahead and fill this out however you want. Alright so now that we're done if we refresh our home page here we'll see our navigation has testimonial on it. And we've got our testimonial form. So I'm going to be uh, John Doe, and I'm just going to write a real quick testimonial. So AJ created a rocking website for me. He was there every step of the way and made the process less painful for me. Okay, and he's ready to submit. Thanks for submitting a testimonial, and he's done. Now, on the testimonials area, we're going to see that this is a draft. And so we want to edit this 
and we just want to read it. So I like to read it for spelling mistakes and, and usually run the spell checker through it. No misspellings found, okay. When I'm ready, I'm just going to click publish. And now it's going to go somewhere on our website. And we're going to go ahead and add one more testimonial really quick. So we'll just go in here and we're going to be Rick Jones. And hopefully you all know who Rick Jones is. Uh, AJ created a, uh, let's say, AJ helped launch my comic web comic series. He designed, developed, and made the process less painful. I'm now able to put my comic online weekly. Okay, and when he's ready to submit, he goes and submits. And I am just happen to check the website, and oh look, Rick Jones added one, so I'm going to go edit. Let's spell check it. Click OK, and we can publish it. All right, so, so people are now creating testimonials on our site. Great, but how do I show them? Well, I've already got that done right here by a content leaf. And how did I do that? You're going to say, well, let me delete it really quick and show you. All right, so it's deleted. Now, in order to get it back, we need to add another leaf. So we're going to add our content leaf. And we're going to arrange our leaf by putting it over here, getting rid of that drawer, and we're going to click the little pencil to open the options. Finally, we're going to go to mode and set this to custom query. We're going to go under options here, and we're going to say, I only want to show two posts. I have zero featured posts. I don't want to paginate posts. I want to change the order by to random so that as I get, say, 10 or 12 or 13 different testimonials, they're going to be random here. I want to hide the post meta. And now when I had them side by side, I used the force small excerpts. But maybe that was too small and I just want to leave it default. So we're just going to leave it default like this. And then finally we're going to go to filters and limit the post type by testimonials. This way the only thing that's going to get shown is our testimonials there. When we're done, let's just click the X, click publish, boom, one and two. So you can see there now our, our testimonials and we're done. If you want to go any advanced, you can go into styling these, you could write your own PHP to pull these up, but if you want something very simple and, and fast, you can use the content leaf and switch it to the custom post type of testimonials and we're done. So this has been a, a very quick tutorial on how to use Gravity Forms for having user submitted content on your site in the form of testimonials. Uh, so let me know in the comments what you think, and if we need to go further into this, we can. Thanks for watching.